remember when I was traveling, uh, I was invited to uh, Moscow in 2016. I was first day in Moscow, cold air, and I was invited to watch this performance uh, called Wars to I'm very curious to know what is Wars to all about. And uh, I was jet lagged, but I still took the courage to go in the evening and watch the show. I watched the show and I was completely stunned, mesmerized. All of what I saw, I was speechless, almost breathless. <coughs> and the first thing that I thought to myself is this is something that is going to be the theatre of the future. It means deep contact uh, with people through body language. It's provocative, it's time to time dangerous, and there was definitely lots and lots of love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Having a lot of fun as a children. Trying to understand what childhood is all about. Until one day, one day, my brother just stopped talking. He even stopped touching. It's been 30 years. 30 years since we even hugged each other. Actually, uh, for me, art gives, especially our art gives, an opportunity to uh, transmit some essences to people what we feel, what we see, what we know, or what we don't know. It was a moment when uh, Diego came to us and we had the first meeting, three of us, and started to share uh, what we uh, liked to do in our life. And uh, all of us, we really would like to move and to feel uh, freedom in it, not to put yourself in a kind of boxes of special style, but be open to different kind of styles of movement on stage and especially to express your personality on stage. Actually, I didn't tell them that I was really nervous because it's the first time when I was working with them. So, uh, so I, I uh, had some ideas, but I also was really open to, to feel. So I was just initiating the meeting of people with the bright mindset, really open. <laughs> to find something new uh, in the contemporary art. Back, but we didn't know physical playback so much. So as a result, I think Rostu brought to us to our plate uh, ways of expression that are beyond words, uh, which and and when you don't require words, you can actually emote it in its complete intensity because words still fall short. And uh, well, today morning I walked in with a little bit of heaviness. Uh, and right now I'm feeling extremely light. I'm feeling very expressive. I feel like uh, I have so much to express, but I, I don't, you know, that, that those energies are now just suddenly flowing through and through my body. about this project. 
project that um, is a collaboration between Russia and India, and it gives a perspective to like you know kind of break stereotypes that we have, not only from our side to what India looks like, but also from uh, wonderful people that we meet met here already about Russia. I'm doing this theater since last uh, few years. We were using around 40% of the face and then 60% of the body. When I saw the Bosdu team the first time, that was the first time I realized that you can use 90% of the body and then 10% of the face. Usually we have a red thread that we are going to have during the workshop, but uh, every time we leave the space for improvisation because we really want to feel people, the culture, the energy that they came to the workshop special. So that's why we really were surprised how deep the stories that people shared during the workshops were. And uh, how, so we jump deep and jump very high. Uh, so it was like, you know, an arc. It was an arc. Actually, uh, in the end of the workshop, one person <laughs> said us that we become a family. Like, all together, even during these four days only. <coughs> and actually, I really believe that it's something like inside that we will be growing up after we leave uh, India. Because it's really like totally different culture, but it's so matches with us. So that's why we're really glad that we came here. And we're looking forward to meeting these guys again. And we were dancing together, and playing together, eating together, and, and speak. connecting together. <laughs>